Well, I have I have like an AMD radio on R9255, so I'm gonna pick R9 or higher. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm gonna show you guys, well in this last video, it's 5.30, I'm gonna show you guys how to stream on 1080p with low internet speed. I'm gonna go through all the settings you need to know to stream uh, on 1080p, even though that you have, you know, low internet speed. I'm gonna run through all of the settings, so I would say let's jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, we're in OBS, and the first thing you wanna do is, in order to uh, do this correctly, you want to go to speedtest.net, and you wanna do a speed test, and you wanna keep in mind the upload speed. It doesn't matter what ping you have, it doesn't matter your download speed, in order to stream on 1080p, the minimum upload speed you need to have is 2.5. Uh, only keep in mind your upload speed. Once you've done that, you want to go to the website. You can actually go to the OBS estimator. You can see a link down below and also in the description. You can go to the website of OBS and you can fill in your information you have about your CPU and everything. So you can fill it in and you will, you will actually receive just the right settings you need to have. So we're going to go to the actual OBS website. Boom. As you guys can see, we, are, we landed on the page. And first of all, guys, you want to fill in everything you have so your details so let's start off with the cpu so i have just i don't have i don't know if like if it's like a like a second one or third or fourth generation i just have an i i7 uh, processor you want so you want to pick your processor of course you can find that you know in your system spec what kind of graphics cards do you have well i have i have like an amd radio on r9255 so i'm gonna pick r9 or higher but you can choose what, what graphics card you have like a geforce g like 980 970 i don't know how, how, what graphics card you have but i'm just gonna pick this one uh, because I have like the AMD one. What kind of games are you streaming? Well, there's a pretty big difference between Minecraft and Battlefield. So basically, I would say like just pick high motion games. That's what I would recommend. And then here you want to fill in your upload speed. So let's say your upload speed is 2.8. You want to fill in 2800. You don't want to fill in 2.8. So let's say your upload speed is 4.4. You want to fill in 4400. If your upload speed is 3.9, you want to fill in 3900. That's how simple it is. So, and then you want to choose the resolution of your monitor. I, th I assume it's like 920 by 1080. You can recommend settings. And as you guys can see, boom, at the right, we can see all the details we need. So, the first thing is set the FPS to 30. Consider setting FPS to 60 with a reason downscale if you have spare CPU power for improved motion quality. That's basically key. Then, for the game advice, try to aim for the highest bitrate possible for high motion games use game capture if possible for maximum performance and use window capture with iro enabled if the game capture is unavailable moving on to the network device and here those are those are the settings you want to fill in in obs itself so as you guys can see your upload speed is up good for 1080p so that's only like like only like a good thing you want to enable the cfr for you know uh, compatibility with streaming services you want to enable the cbr as well for improved stream stability and then the recommended max bit rate and the recommended buffer size is like 2400 you want to copy that as well in obs so we're going to back to obs we're clicking on settings settings and then what we want to do is we want to go to the encoding tab and as you guys saw we want to fill in 2400 and also in this one 2400 then we're going to go to the broadcast settings then as you guys can see when to pick your activity well th in this case it's going to be live streaming uh your streaming service is youtube but you can also like say like twitch you want to pick the server that's like most close to you that's what i recommend and then your stream key you can find that on the dashboard of your twitch channel you can find the stream key and then you can fill it in here but let's say if you want to stream on youtube uh, you just want to pick this one and you will get the actual stream key you can get this one well you get this one automatically when you're setting up your live events so we want, we want to pick the stream key uh, on youtube paste it in here and then basically you're good to go so let's move on to uh, that video tab you want to pick your graphics card of course and here like the base resolution you want to keep this on 920 by 1080 because that's actually like full hd 1080p and then for the resolution downscale you do not want to downscale it and your fps you can choose what you want you can use 30 fps uh, if you like to game on 50 fps that's also fine but if you want to game on 60 fps you want to fill in 60 in here and that is basically what you want to do in, in terms of settings so let's move on to the audio tab that is how simple it is so in the audio tab you want to pick your speakers because otherwise your obs will not be able to hear what you're hearing through your headset and then the microphone of course you want to pick the microphone you have i use the samsung co1u pro microphone i'm going to pick this one and you can choose your desktop if you if your desktop is really like really soft you can boost it up i have my mic boost on too because it works best for me and then actually you know on hotkeys you can choose like there's nothing more to, you know to change 
uh, in terms of streaming editing, a lot of streaming quality. So I think you're good to go, guys. I mean, you filled everything in, you filled in the max bitrate. That is basically all you need to fill in, though. On the audio tab, we've done everything. The video tab, you just want to keep this on 920 by 1080. And that is basically the same with this. Now you can go ahead and start streaming 1080p right away, 30, 50, or 60 FPS. It's up to you. And that is basically how similar it is. So those are the settings you need to know, guys. Make sure to smash the like button, you know, if, this, if you find this video helpful. And also make sure to smash the subscribe button down below for more videos every Tuesday at 3.30 and 5.30 p.m. PC. I'll be uploading an OBS tutorial. I'll see you guys tomorrow for two ass kicking Sony Vegas tutorials. And um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the continued support. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So until then, I'll see you guys very soon. I'm going to give you guys six tips for beginner drivers. My name's LDHH Official. As yeah. always. Yeah. And I upload one video every day of the week, except on Saturday and Sunday. I'm just going to start streaming live. First question for today. So that's going to be through this hall. It's going to be pretty dark. So we have the door. Future your comment or your question. And I'll see you guys in the next video.